Hey everyone, I'm Courtney. I'm Amanda. And we're the Boozy, Boozy Bakers. Bakers. Welcome back. So this week's video is a little different than what we have been typically doing in the past. Um, normally we walk you guys through a cake that we do on camera together. But this week, we're going to revisit a cake that I actually did um, this past weekend for a customer of mine. So we're going to um, just kind of voice over and let you guys watch what we did, and I'll explain the techniques, and I'm Switch sure it up a little. Courtney will have some questions, and we'll talk about, <laughs> we'll just talk about what I did. I was so. mean. Sorry. <laughs> All right, but first and most important Foremost. to me... We are still going to keep up the boozy portion of this. So this week we are doing a suggestion from one of our followers. Shout out to Haley. She also Hi, Haley. keeps my hair snatched. So thanks, <laughs> Haley. Um, so this week is, well, she suggested tequila and grapefruit juice. Now, anyone who knows me knows tequila was a thing of the past Not for me. Not your favorite. I don't really touch on that too much anymore. So I got to... Spruce it up a little bit with some Diet 7-Up, and we also did this lovely um, salt and green and yellow sugar rim just to kind of give it a little bit something Spice extra. It up a little bit. So, I, however, ooh. love tequila, yeah, so well. Haley, good suggestion, girl. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up here. So we have our Patron tequila. You want me to do the rim of the glass over here? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. fine. Okay, so we're going to do this. Salt and sugar, huh? Oh. Salt and sugar? Okay. Mm. Oh, stop it. I can't. I can't pour that. Stop it. I can't pour it. <laughs> you are a bit ridiculous. Ooh, I don't oh like it. Oh, my God. I don't like it. Does it smell it. like bad decisions? It smells like horrible decisions. It smells like bad All right, decisions I just and need regret. you to pour two of these okay. in here, and then we're just going to... Mm, don't oh. do it. Ugh, don't do it. I love it. Oh. Two of these? Yeah, two. Oh, and I'll drop your ice in while you're okay. doing Ooh, that. That was. I hope that this tastes better than it smells. Love you, I Haley. think it smells divine. Well, you're a sick, twisted it's individual. It's my favorite. Okay. It's the good that. stuff, too. It's not cheap tequila. This is the good stuff. Okay. Now, what's the parts to... Oh. Allow Should me I to just look that up do, for you. You know what? Concentrate from South Africa. Okay. okay. Ocean spray. How about we just double it? Well, so I'll I do have four a recipe of these. over here. I feel like that's if I can probably find it. It's actually called a Paloma, the cocktail recipe that I was looking up. Because it's Three. grapefruit juice. We'll do four. Um a fourth of a cup. I don't know what that means in so ounces. I feel like so this it's four is... ounces. Well, two ounces. No. This... It's two ounces. That's not, I just did way more than that. Okay. And then a tablespoon of fresh lime juice or lemon. Should we, we do a squeeze of this? Yes. Okay. Do a little squeeze Let's in there. do a there. little, zhuzh it up a little bit with this. Yes. Let's. Okay. Okay. And then we need sugar. We don't have any sugar. That's well, okay. That's we have okay. the rim. This, this is what, this is what's happening right Tequila, here. Tequila, oh, and the little club soda. But we're going to use We're going to use Diet 7 up. And that will come right. after because we don't want it to shake, fizz shake, shake. everywhere. Give it a good little shake. <clears throat> I'm really excited for this. I'm glad you are. One of us is. Ooh, it's pretty. 
see how much we have in here. Oh, yeah, we have plenty. 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 Probably more than you want to have. <laughs> That's not That's a lot. That's fair. Okay, perfect. Okay, top and it then. off with a little bit of club soda, or in our case, we're going to use Diet 7 Up. Keeping with that lemon lime yes. theme. Ooh, Ooh that nice dip. Busy. Okay. Okay. You ready for this? Lord help me. Bottoms up, sister. Cheers, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, it's good. Okay. Ooh, that salty rim. I like it. Oh, that's not that's not bad. No, I like it. In fact, it's okay. actually really good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. I judge good that. Suggestion, Haley. Judge that too harshly. Yeah. Yeah, Haley, that's actually not yeah. a bad, not a it's bad very drink. Refreshing. Yeah. You know what it is? It's yeah. a refreshing drink. I like it. Okay. Well, we have our cocktail. Yeah. Now let's start our little review of Amanda's video. So, this week's video is a cake that I just did this last past weekend, and it's actually a fish. It's a, a fish? fish? Yeah. Like it's a, a fish, fish cake. Sculpted out of fondant. Okay. There's airbrushing involved. Oh. There's all kinds of fun fondant techniques. Horrible. Yeah. Thank God you're not making me try to recreate that because well, that's it why we're awful. doing this video in this format because I won't do that to poor Courtney just yet. We don't have that kind of time. No, no, we don't. No, not no. even close. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's get started. Okay, so starting with a vanilla pound cake recipe, and I'm just giving it a crumb coat with my Swiss meringue vanilla buttercream. Bench scraper. Bench scraper city girl. <laughs> Covering it with another layer of buttercream after it's been crumb coated and chilled. And then I'm just gonna set it aside here and we're gonna start on some fondant. 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 Don. Fondant. Okay, girl. Anyway. Fondant, <laughs> tinted blue with some sky blue gel food coloring. It looks roll like Play-Doh, and I want to play it. with it. It is actually very fun to work with. You didn't let me play with it before. Well, there's still time. Okay. okay. Baby steps. Okay. Okay. So, work it in some more blue. All right. And then I'm going to take a little bit of white fondant, as you can see, oh, little blobs of it. And like little clouds. It and work that around, but not real well. I want the fondant to look... Kind of streaky, like water. Oh, like marble. Yeah, like marbly. Okay. Okay. So now when I roll it out, you'll see here. Was well, that I powder? Have... No, that actually, the... that is a vegetable shortening. Okay. A lot of people use um, powdered sugar um, when they roll their fondant out, but I find that it dries it out too much and okay. it actually cracks it. Okay. So I use vegetable shortening so it keeps it nice and soft and supple to work with it. So. Good to know. Let me just right. log that in since I'm an expert. Okay, so now baker. I'm covering the cake with the blue fondant, smoothing it out, getting all the air bubbles out, going around and around. Use your hand at Ooh. first to get all the air bubbles out. It looks very satisfying. It is. I won't lie. And then I have this cute little paddle thing that I use that... Um, Smooths the sides out Looks really like well. an eraser. And gets rid of all the air bubbles. Then you trim the fondant around the base mm -hmm. one time. And then I push, I kind of smush it into the base. So when I go back I and like cut it in it's again. I like how it's Yeah. See that it's little swirly. swirl feature? Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. I like it. Smooth it out. Smooth it out. And then next. Next step. Next step, I'm going to tint some fondant green. Okay. So I'm doing this because I'm going to make those, you know, those little reeds, grass oh, around yeah. like a pond. Yeah. So I'm sure. going to make some of those. Okay. So we're just tinting this fondant with some leaf green. Okay. And then at this point, I realize I don't like that color. So I go back in with some moss green and kind of deepen it up a little bit this more. This is very intricate. Work I it in. didn't know yeah. there were multiple greens. Oh my goodness. There's like so many. Five okay. different greens. Okay. Okay, so rolling out the fondant, and I'm just going to use my little X-Acto knife and cut some reed-like shape. You can never let me use that, no, ever. You'll cut your I will off. cut my entire finger yeah. off. That is out of I'll the question. I'll be in charge of the X-Acto yeah, knife. Yeah, don't ever. 
unchecked okay, out. So there we are. Okay, those, those are cute. Reads. Super cute, cute. right? Making some more. So there's a lot. And those are fun because you just, I just do it by hand. There's no rhyme or reason. Yeah. You don't have to, they all are different. Yeah, every grass piece is different. Sure. So okay, now fine. I had already tinted this fondant. It looks like poop. It literally looks like I'm playing with feces. <laughs> it looks like goose poop. It but... does look like duck poop. So, <laughs> but it's not. It's fondant. Then I tinted with brown okay. and a little bit of black. And I barely mix it together so it has that swirly, marbly look like actual rocks that you find oh. in nature. So I'm making like the How river rocks. Crap you are and then I'm just using my hands to shape them into different rolling shapes the poop. different roll, roll little in yeah the poop. roll in the poop until it looks like little <laughs> little river rocks and pebbles <laughs> aka goose poop mm -hmm. but it's so cute though yeah okay, okay. so goose that poop done aside. goose poop done Next. now we're working on the big dog okay so now it's time to make the actual fish this is for the the Big mouth the bass. Big old bass on top. Okay. So I have a big hunk of just white fondant, and I'm just rolling it, rolling it, working it until it gets nice and pliable. Are, and now I'm just going to start shaping it. Are fish cakes like the new trend? Uh, they have been. The last few weeks, I've had lots of orders for fish cakes. It's so crazy. Hmm. Well, it's springtime and summer's coming, and everybody likes to fish. So. Northeast Ohio. Northeast Ohio. It's kind of what we do around here. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can see the body. Okay, so I'm just working on the body now. And make sure you got a measure so you don't make a fish that's too big for the top of your cake. So you got to kind of keep Can't in mind the that. scale. Yeah, you got to keep in mind the scale. So I just kind of got the basic rough shape of the body right Did now. Did you freehand this though? Yeah. Well, you're watching. Okay, Picasso. <laughs> I didn't know if you had to do it. <laughs> Wow, someone's feeling <laughs> sassy today, isn't she? So now I have my cute little tool that I'm going in and making his mouth. You better not ever let me have his acto knife. I'll cut you. No, this is I'll not an exacto you. knife. This is just a little plastic tool that I carved out the groove for his mouth and then that's now his eyeball. Courtney friendly. The yeah. Courtney friendly Very, tool. You can't cut cool. yourself. <laughs> now I'm carving out the little indentations for where his gills mm -hmm. are. And just kind of working on his mouth to make it look more lifelike. This is very impressive. It's fun. I have a really good time doing it. I'm not going to lie. It looks like a horrible time for me. But mm -hmm. I'm glad that you enjoy it. I do enjoy it. <clears throat> what okay, is so this? I have a piping tip. Okay. The, this with is the fancy. big. I forget what number it is. It's a Wilton piping tip. But I'm using it to make the scales. But then at this point I realized they're too big. So I got a different tool. Okay that um is just like a, a semi-circle okay so i'm going back and making, making all the scales, scales right now yeah wow that's yeah did you think up of that on your own yeah to do? i did it used to be a circle and i cut it in half you're so smart thanks girl wow and not that i didn't think that you were smart at its before finest. i'm just very impressed with your artistic <laughs> abilities i think maybe in my head i, I imagine too. that you had i was like, never stencils. artistic <laughs> Growing up, I was never artistic my whole life. I don't even know where this came from. Honestly, it just came out of the blue one day. I am still not. I cannot draw a stick figure. That oh, is not an crap. exaggeration. Well, here we, we're missing this. Oh, so tail. I'm making the tail. Making tail. the tail. Okay. So I've just cut the tail out of a piece of fondant, and I'm shaping it with my hands. And I use a little toothpick that I stuck in there and then kind of stuck it up as little rump. Disclaimer just so. to your customers. Yeah. Don't eat the toothpick. Yeah, I always tell my customers, there's a toothpick in here, so don't just go chomping away at this big do hunk of Do people do that? I don't know, but I'm okay. just covering my bases here, girl. Fair enough, fair enough. So I made the tail. Now I'm working mm. on the fins. Just freehanding the fins. Cutting them. Okay, <laughs> show off. <laughs> freehanding uh, the fins. No big so, deal. Freehanding the fins into a basic shape, and then I have that same little tool that I use to carve out the mouth and just kind of making this the um, what is that called? They're not scales, but you know, the lines, the ridges that are in their um, fins. I don't know, spikes, called? spines, like I don't know, boning or something. So, anyway, I'm I know that they those, stab those you lines. if you touch them, yeah. So, I'm making those lines right now in the fondant with that tool, they're like bones. Yeah, they're like yeah, they're spiny. Like, yeah, spine. 
Maybe they're spines. Maybe Are they like vertebrae called. sticking I out? Know. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. But that's what I'm making at this point. And there's this little oh, flipper fin. Okay. So shaping that fin. and then taking that little tool Did again. Did you do that one by hand too? I might have. I did. I did it all by hand. Anyways. I'm kind of a good person Shut now. your. <laughs> okay. 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 So anyway, another little flipper. Wait, time out. Another time out. We fin. need to pause. I'm almost empty. I need, need to refill. Yeah, we need. I need to refill. You just make us a drink while I keep talking. How's that? You want to do that? Multitask? Wow. She is just on one today, isn't she? You want a mul well, yes, multitask? Yes, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a friggin' tequila. Oh, okay, gladly. Actually, I don't even. You don't want to touch, touch it. it. Fine, just keep talking. Okay, so on to the last little fin on his little belly. Using the same tool just to score those lines of those spines or whatever they're called. Anyway, making his little eyeball into that indentation I made earlier with that little tool. Seems like you know a lot. You should probably know what those spines are called. Really? Really? Okay, now this is my favorite part. Time for the airbrush. Okay, so I'm starting with uh, bright yellow, which looks just absolutely crazy at this point. I'm airbrushing this whole fish bright yellow, and it just looks like Oops. I ruined it. It looks like I completely yeah. ruined it, but stay tuned. It's all about layering colors to get that natural-looking effect when you're making cakes, especially when you're using airbrush. It looks so like now I'm going, on it. I'm going back hey, over hey. with green. Like a grass green, so now it looks really crazy. Uh, but just wait, spilling, I promise it'll, it'll spilling, all work out. Spilling. Sorry. You've been spilling everything today. Shut up, Amanda. Shut okay, up, green. Amanda. <laughs> green, concentrating a little bit heavier around the um, perimeter of the fins and the gills, just to kind of give it a little bit more depth. And now we're going in with some brown. So now it starts to really take shape and take, um, it, have the effect of like actually how this fish is supposed to look. Looks pretty darn good. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Well, thanks, girl. You're welcome. So yeah, going over with the brown and then you just concentrate a little heavier on certain sections like the tips of the tail, right. um, the tips of the fins, the gills. Color his eyeball with a little bit of brown food coloring and a paintbrush. And then I'm going to go in and uh, add some depth with coloring into his mouth and around the gills. Makes him pop a little bit more. Gives it a little more realistic look. Hey, thanks. Hey, da, 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 da. I got to top oh, you oh, off, oh. girl. <laughs> Easy does it, Alki, okay? <laughs> now you may drink. Yeah. Okay, no, so need... now we're placing this big fish on top of our cake. That looks really good, actually. That's Thank you. Very impressive. Thank you. I hope that person really enjoyed their bass cake. Cause it I hope great. so, too. That's my goal. Of every cake I make, I hope people love it. I hope it brings them a little bit of joy. They should. Okay, so now I'm just going in and attaching all of his fins and flippers and all of his little accessories. Mm -hmm. And I used a couple toothpicks here just to make sure it's really anchored in there and just brushed a little bit of water on the base to make sure it sticks. Um, water acts like the glue, so it holds everything on there. Huh. Attaching a little side flipper. Paint touch-ups. Little paint touch-ups to where my fingers kind of left a fingerprint. Even the blue fondant, it looks so good. Well, With thank the little you. swirlies for the water. Well, thank you. So good. Again. Thank God right? you did not make me do that. <laughs> I won't do that to you. I would not have gotten a really long time. that picking the fondant up off the counter <laughs> part and putting it on the cake. I would not have gotten past that part. I can already see in my head that my fingers would have went right through right it. Right through it. No, it's pretty dense. Okay. You'd be okay. Grass now. So now we're attaching these little um, reeds or pond grass or whatever you want to call them that we had made earlier and set aside to dry so they hold their shape. Otherwise, they would have just kind of... You wet those and stick them on? Use a little okay. bit of water and a paintbrush. 
brush them on the back and stick them on the side and that it adheres them right to the side. How does that work? Um, in okay. water, it just like yeah, it just acts like glue. Together. Yeah, hmm. the water acts like glue. And you can use piping gel if you don't want to use water. They have a thing called piping gel that, that you can buy. Messy. But it's just water does the same thing. Okay, fair enough. Looks pretty so legit. I'm just going in and placing them wherever, random places, just to make it look like a fish in a pond. I think this is the pond. only part of the cake that looks attainable to me. <laughs> sticking the and now side. all those little river rocks that I made earlier, we're just going to go in and pop oh, those in random places. Goose poops. Yeah, goose poops. All the little turds that we made earlier, we're <laughs> just going to go place those randomly. I could probably do that, too. about. Yeah. I'd probably do that part, mm. too. That's it, though. Oh, yeah, you definitely could do that. Mm. It's so easy. Even Courtney could do it. Shut up, Amanda. <laughs> I do have a question, though. So the okay. fondant on here looks yeah. super smooth all the way around. It How is. important is it to get your layer of frosting underneath the fondant smooth? It's imperative. So because, if that's not smooth, the fondant yeah, will not work. The fondant through. will show what's well, underneath. Well, then I'd be screwed from literally step two. Step two. Well, that's why we're starting with buttercream. Yes. We're going to master buttercream yes. first, and then we'll move on to fondant. It but yes, it be is a imperative. While. <laughs> because if you have lumpy, bumpy, uneven buttercream underneath, your frost, your fondant's going to show it. I don't know what it. that's like, to be honest. I don't, I don't know what that's like. You wouldn't know what that's like, because mm -hmm. yours thus far has been perfect. Yes, if anyone watched our perfect. Easter cake video. All the crisp lines. Smooth. Perfect. Smooth frosting. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Uh -huh. Okay. Ooh. Finish. Ooh, anyway, we're done. Finish product. There Look is a fish cake. There it is. That in all is of its amazing. Glory. You guys saw it. That's how easy it is. This is the most impressive thing I've seen in a really Ooh. long time. Thanks, girl. Very good. I'm super proud of you. Thank you. Hey, before long, you're going to be able to do it, too. Uh... No, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dream big. Maybe season three or four. <laughs> season 37. <laughs> season 37. Come but back hey, when I have arthritis in my we'll hands and I'm 60 and I can't <laughs> do anything. Perhaps we'll get there. Then. I promise. All right, guys. Well, we hope that you enjoyed this and it was a little bit of a switch up from normal, but... Since this was not going to be an attainable cake for me to try to recreate at all, we still wanted you to be able to see Amanda's great talent because she is literally amazing. Oh, thanks, girl. You're welcome. But please um, look for us on Instagram and Twitter at Boozy Bakers, Facebook page Boozy Bakers, and then as always, subscribe on YouTube, uh, like it, give us a... It's okay. It's been a long day of shooting. Oh, and if that. you have any questions about this cake, if you have any questions about techniques that you saw today or recipes, um, anything at all about this cake, drop it down below and I will definitely answer your questions. So still taking beverage suggestions as always. Yes. We, I think we're, we're out. No, we have one more. Yeah. We have one more shout out that we have to do on a beverage. But mm -hmm. after that, we just got to come up with this crap on our own. So please comment <laughs> below. <laughs> <laughs> give us something to focus on for our next video um and i think that that's it for today i think that's it for today yes ma'am yeah. all right guys well thanks so much for tuning in thank you in. so much for tuning in and we will see you next Soon. week yeah yeah bye guys bye, bye.